Now why we lost compression. Alright, found the culprit. Here's a quick little story about the family 50cc two-stroke. Yeah. It's been passed down go. generations after there generations. And here we got little man cranking her up, taking her from my niece, changing it from purple to white. Here we got it turning white. And man, this thing is literally undiable, unkillable, what? unmurderable. Until he murdered That's it. That's tune coming. <laughs> No, man, just needed to take off the carburetor, get it cleaned. It was soaking up some mud and stuff like that because little man just likes to hit all the puddles. So we did have to do that, take off the car, get it ready to go. Hey, we're going to make your broom broom faster. Okay, no, sir. But really, it's just time for me to spend with the dudes. So finally got all that fixed and took him out for his first ride. Of course, he has to ride solo dolo. So I did this in the most controlled way that I could, letting my uh, three-year-old ride A50CC. All right, tell me what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it apart off. And what? what? And then fix it. Yeah, baby. And start taking apart. Uh, just time lapse, man. Trying to get this this thing taken apart with the dudes and. and really just to a place where I could get the motor out one. I had ideas and plans of painting the frame and cleaning it all up, but man, I could only work on this thing about 20 minutes a day here and there, not every day, you know, that's what happens when you got three many kids. So here, oh, the wiring harness. Gotta love the wiring harness. Gotta love the wiring harness. Finally got that engine out though, baby. Little dude loves it. And hold on, let's just take a second right here to pause and look at my guy Cole's face. That's the face of success. <laughs> got the motor out. I'm stoked. I'm excited about this part. Now I'm ready for the teardown. So let's get it up on the bench. Oh, let's drain the oil first and then get it up on the bench. Here, I'm just going to pretend like I know what I'm doing, but no, nah, in all seriousness, I think we had the uh, fuel mixture way too rich. Rich? Rich as oil? I think so. But you can see the spark plug here is just wrecked. Wrecked. Pretty wrecked. And I can't lie, I was pretty stoked just to break this thing down. It's my first time ever pulling a motor apart. Um, I don't consider myself mechanically inclined, but I ain't scared. Yeah, so let's so the check the piston. No movement. The rings are stuck. Literally, no play, yeah, no movement. What the bleep do I know? <laughs> Lots of cleaning to do. <laughs> Can't lie, I'll take any opportunity that I can find to wear my headlamp. Everybody else laughs at my headlamp, but I love my headlamp. <laughs> this probably took me way too long to get this piston off, but ended up getting it off. I probably broke stuff in the process. Little did I know, this is the only the beginning. <laughs> only the beginning of the shenanigans. Nice, dude. What? Nice. Couple measurements, 
and then I am going to town. Um, the biggest issue is to find something to, that'll fit this Chinese 50cc, no brand, no, uh, has an engine number, no numbers on the frame. I, I couldn't backdate this. I, I found one thing that had tied together with it. For us, it seems to be a 94, but nothing fit the actual head stud. So ended up buying lots of different heads. And this is the first one here. Putting this bad boy back together. So just a top end kit from Universal Auto Parts here. We're taking the head studs out, right? And the screw, baby. Put an all new top end on this. Hopefully, we bought a new top end. Let's see how it goes. Bang, baby. New top end. Old piston. What? You learn from your mistakes. <laughs> I went through a warm-up procedure, did everything I could to keep the cylinder lubricated. What are we doing? The little man was stoked. Fixing it. We got the motor back in there, right? Yeah. It's running. We put a new top end. No. No? Yeah. Let's put yeah, it back did. together. I'm gonna mount her back up. She starts right up. Had to put a new carburetor on there too. Oh, let's put her back together. Yeah. As the story goes, man. You always test stuff before you show your kids, dude. I would definitely highly, 1,000% recommend testing more thoroughly before showing your kids. What? 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 That was not good. Let's <laughs> well, tear it down again, boys. You know, up and down play on the crank. Small wiggle left to right. That why we lost compression. Now time to Google why this would happen. Jesus Christ. Something just or the piston just nipped. Got hung up. The cylinder's fine too. Off side, on the intake side. So now I'm frustrated. I am upset. I stopped filming. I order another top end kit and I go to work, dude. I'm not gonna let this little sir clip defeat me, dude. It's not gonna happen. So, slap it back together and bang. Bang, bang, bang. Something doesn't sound right, though. <laughs> and little did I know this would not be the end. So, right there, we blow another top end. That time, it seems that a circlip was in the bottom end. This time around, we were not as lucky. Yeah. All right. So what we're doing now is clutch case coming off. So now my paranoia is setting in. At this point, I'm like, I got to take the clutch cover off. I have to see if there's anything else in there and see if there's any more debris. Long story short, that's going to screw me over in the long run. So I go to town um, and really just start pulling this thing apart even further. All right, I, I might be too deep, but I guess it's too late. We have that little piece, looked like a circlip that was in the, in the crank. But I took the side cover off and but then we have life baby listen i'm a dude that learns from my mistakes i figure out what went wrong 
and I get back at it. I'm not one to be defeated. I just try my best. <laughs> And so, taking Little Man for a better ride this time. <laughs> <laughs>